welcome back. In today's episode, we finally settle the debate of gold versus purple. Now, if you talk to Nate Supreme Fishing, he's going to tell you purple. If you talk to me at this point in time, I'm going to tell you gold. So we kicked off today's episode by meeting up with uh, Lorenzo. I'm going to tag him below. He's a really good kid. He's uh, He won one of my giveaways for the 10 inch line through trout. All right. First of all, this kid is 15 years old and he works, he busts his butt and he saved up his money to get a newer rod and reel combo because he was throwing that 10 inch trout on a spinning reel with like, I think 30 pound test. So you know what happened. He got slurped by a giant snook and bing, broke off. So he went and he got himself a Daiwa Lexa 300 and also the Daiwa DBX swim bait rod, the eight foot extra heavy. So what you're going to see in the very beginning of this episode is uh, I linked up with him and his little brother. We got his rod rigged up because he didn't have any line. I brought him some line. By the way, if you're ordering from Tackle Warehouse, just be ready to wait. My new thing is buy local. If you need line, you need lures, you need rods, whatever, go to your local shop and freaking buy it there, man. Support our local uh, fishermen. We're all part of the same community. So anytime you go and order a lure from California that's in stock right here in, in somewhere in Fort Lauderdale, you're just hurting the local fishing community. So buy local, keep it local. Let's all take care of each other. Anyway, so let's get right into this video and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Finally. I had to get sunglasses. I was not about to fix no sunglasses. And it's on my car. Oh, uh, what's up man? And then we'll do it. You're Hawaiian? No. I just got that when I was in Hawaii. You're in the army or something right Yeah, it's right here too. I don't even know how much line is on there, so let's see. But after you cast and reel it in a few times, it'll be, it'll tighten up anyway. Oh yeah, almost. almost. <laughs> You're gonna catch cichlids on that. Oh my God, that is a huge gar. I usually don't even want to catch gar, but I'll catch this one. Look at that, man. Come on, come on. Bite it. Oh, he wants it too. He wants the mullet. Come on, gar. You want to eat it. Oh, that's like a 36 inch gar. Look at that. He's right there still. No, 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 come back. Uh. <laughs> right, so we had just wrapped up with Lorenzo and setting up his pole when I get a text from my buddy Ty, who I'm going to tag right here. Um, and he tells me, hey, I was out fishing in a couple spots and I seen some snook cruising. So I said, all right, let me go check it out. Now, this is a known spot that I've used to catch tarp in there, like ditch witch, like little five, 10 pound tarpons. And uh, I would go back there back in the day and catch some little tarp and some little snook. But he tells me he's seen some decent sized snook cruising around. So I went over there and then on the first cast, this happened. Got him, Ty. Got him, Ty. Got him, Ty. Just gotta get him out of these weeds. Ah, come on, get out of there. Got him, Ty. Boy, Ty said, hey, go check out this spot. And look what happened. 
gathering weeds. Boy, Ty said, check out this spot. Come on. Get over here, beauty. Come on, girl. I got you. Hey, we take some pictures for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. God. Just a little snook. I don't got any snook in here. Everything in here, man. Oh, let's see, let's see. Hold on. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> oh, no, no. This is definitely going to be my best snook from here. You got the whole thing? Can you do it a couple sideways? Yeah. Oh, oh mother Alright, dude, chill. A couple sideways shots and then I'll get rid of her. Alright, cool. Yeah, I got I have YouTube and Instagram. Canal Cowboy. Yeah, man, cool. I appreciate it. Let's see if I can get this damn hook out of here. Dude, this thing f drilled it. Were you guys over here looking for fishing spots? Yeah. Got it? It's on, yeah. Alright, girl. Alright. Come on now. Look, you still see it, right? See her swimming? Yeah. Beautiful. Man. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, man. I appreciate that, dude. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the video down below in the comments. I know for me, it was really cool to find a, you know, an overslot size snook in about five or six inches of water um, and have that little fight there in the lily pads. It was very cool. Um, as far as exploring fresh water, it's always an adventure. There's always something to find. And we're so lucky to live in South Florida with the ecosystem that we have and all of the exotics and everything. Some people complain about the exotics, but you know what? Once they're here, they're here. And that's what makes South Florida so special um, and so unique. As far as me, you guys know I'm not crazy about the exotics. I just love my snook and I love to get them in fresh water. There's something extra special about it. So hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Till the next time guys, 